guys! Today I'm going to show you guys how to do this makeup look that I think is perfect for spring. It's soft and feminine with toned down pinky hues and warm browns, but it's still a bit eye-catching with the bold winged eyeliner. I've also been experiencing pretty abnormal breakouts lately from a new skincare routine, so I'm also going to show you guys how to cover up discoloration and blemishes without looking too cakey for a natural and youthful look. So let's get started! Soft and dewy skin starts from within, so always be sure to moisturize beforehand. I'm using this spray-on moisturizer from Tatcha because it's super convenient to just spritz onto my face before I start with my foundation. And I just give it a couple of spritz and pat it into my skin to let it really soak in for a couple of minutes. As always, you guys know the drill. I'm going in with my favorite primer to create a nice flawless base for our foundation. So recently, I've discovered the magic of color correcting concealers and first of all, I'm going to be using a green tinted concealer and I'm applying this on reddish areas like around my nose and on blemishes. It looks a bit strange right now because it's green, but trust me, when you put your foundation over this color correcting concealer, this extra step will take your makeup to the absolute next level. For under the eyes, instead of using a paler concealer, you want to use a concealer with yellow undertones to cancel out the purple tones of your dark circles. For dewy looking skin, I have been really obsessed with this trick that I already showed you guys in my most recent foundation tutorial. So taking a liquid highlight close to your natural skin tone, you want to put it underneath your foundation to mimic that healthy inner glow. Now I'm going in with a longtime favorite foundation. I can't remember the name right now, but as always, all the products will be in the description box. It's got a really nice buildable medium coverage, but still looks very light and very dewy. It does a really nice job of concealing discoloration and imperfections while still maintaining the appearance of skin. It doesn't completely hide up all my faint little freckles either, which I personally really like. So because this foundation is a little bit on the liquidy side, I'm just using my fingers to dab and spread out the product and also to sheer it out and keep it on the more lightweight side. Then I'm going in with a sponge and blending the product into my skin for a seamless finish. To keep it looking as lightweight and natural as possible, I try to avoid building up with foundations. So instead, I'm using a really nice heavy duty concealer to spot conceal any blemishes that are still peeking through. Recently, I have been obsessed with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because it blends quickly while delivering maximum coverage. And also, it's super long wearing. To keep this skin looking soft and dewy, I'm going in with a cream blush rather than a powder blush. And I'm dabbing this rather heavily all over my cheeks and over the bridge of my nose for a healthy flush. Lastly, for the face, I'm going over everything with the lightest layer of fine powder to set it all in place. Remember not to over powder because this will make your face look very chalky. For the eyes, I'm just doing something very simple. Recently, I haven't been into wearing many eyeshadows, so I am just going for a very simple look to brighten up the eyes and give them a little bit more definition. So I'm starting with a warm toned shimmer all over the eyes and inner corners to just brighten up the eyes. Then dipping into my Pretty Naked palette from 100% Pure, I'm taking this light warm tone brown and applying this into my crease. Lately, I've been really liking warm tone browns compared to cool tones. I think it's just a really easy and efficient way to warm up the eyes for spring. And taking a darker warm toned brown, I'm just adding a tiny bit to create a bit more dimension on the outer V. And with those same two shadows, I'm just applying them in the same order to the outer lower lash line for more definition. For some reason, I have just been obsessed with the look of huge overdrawn wings since they're so eye-catching, so I just decided to slap that on my eyes, but however you want to draw your eyeliner is completely up to you and up to personal preference. Curl those lashes and apply mascara just as usual. I've been trying out this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I'm really in love with the darkness and volume of the formula, but since it smudges fairly easy on me, I've gotta say that this mascara is a no-go for me. 
I'm dipping into the lightest shade of my NARS highlight palette and highlighting the highest points of my face. Lately, I've been really loving to use different size fluffy brushes for a more easy and precise application. Of course, before applying any lip product, you want to moisturize the lips. I am using the Cashmere Lip Pot from Emily Cordon and the texture of this is just really soft. It melts onto the skin and also it kind of smells like strawberry milk, which I really like. For a longer lasting lip color, first I'm starting off with a long wear lip liner. And the liner that I'm using today is from the brand Tatcha. I am super obsessed with them right now. You guys will definitely see so many more products from them in future videos. Then apply your lip color of choice on top and I am just using a Lippy Sticks from ColourPop and this is one of my absolute favorite shades. This is in the color Topanga. And taking a washable cloth or a napkin, you can just blot the excess product off leaving a long lasting layer that's really adhered to the skin. I'm using my most recent favorite setting spray to finish off the look and we're done. Alright, so that's it for this super simple, fresh and youthful spring makeup. I mainly focused on making the skin look really nice and perfected, especially for those of you guys who are also suffering from bad skin days just like me. Um, hopefully you guys found this tutorial to be kind of helpful, and I'm so sorry that videos have been pretty late recently. There has been a lot going on. Um, I'm actually re renovating right now, and so it's been really hard for me to film with all of the noise. I am still trying to create videos when I can, and I will definitely upload them when I can as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again next time.